Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got painted, polished, Celtic, curly, and I'm going to do some stamping. I started off with Danny Jidget's Glitter Beyond, and here is painted, polished, Celtic, curly. I got this one last year, so I'm not sure if it's available anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and apply the first coat. And for a curly, this one actually applies pretty good. I really do love it. It's that off-white kind of creamy color with all these beautiful gold and green little glitters in it. And here we go. Woody's going to make an appearance and do a little bit of cleanup for me. It's been so long since I painted my nails that I'm a little shaky and messy. <laughs> and here we go with the second coat of Celtic Crelly. And that's all I'm going to need for this one to make it opaque. Two coats works. And I'm making another mess. <laughs> and I'm going to top this one off with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And get it to dry down so that I can do some stamping. I am ready to stamp. There we go. Love it. I'll be using Bundle Monster BMH05 and Maybelline's Color Show Bold Gold, which is not a stamping polish, but that's what I use it for. My little rectangular stamper and my clear jelly scraper. And I'm just going to use all the little different St. Patty's Day, um, you know, images off of this plate. Just kind of mix and match it, play with it, have fun with it. Very nice. Love it, love it. I'm just going to keep turning that plate and using the images and having fun with it. And I know you can still tell I'm a little sinusy. I'm still fighting that um, sinus infection. Um, everybody I heard that has had this, it just takes weeks for it to go all the way away. And that's where I'm at. I'm just so stinking sick of it. The other two videos I've posted and maybe one more were recorded before all this funk hit me. So I don't sound near as bad in those. Um, and on this one, I'm going to have to do some double stamping. I'm just going to clean that plate off and pick the image up again. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize that I'm kind of out of frame and you don't get to see me line it up real good. But I just um, work really hard at, you know, trying to get it the way I want it and line that image up so that it seems more seamless. With all these meds, I'm a little shaky, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a wonder I got that on there, even mostly straight. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? You just gonna paint them and be happy with it. It's what you gonna do, girl. Just gonna paint them nails and be happy to be wearing something different, finally. But I love this little plate. I love all the images. I break this one out every year and play with it around this time. And, you know, I, I always look forward to using these images. And that one didn't turn out so well, so we're gonna do a do-over on it. Go clean it up and start over. This is one of those more um, open images, so you have to be careful scraping. I'm a hard scraper, so I tend to pull up more polish than needed. And I'm going to put this one on my ring finger because it's more of an accent design because it's got way more gold in it than the other fingernails. So, there we go. Yup, yup, yup. Got it, got it. Just trying to mush it down while it's still a little tacky. And I did miss a little piece over here on the side. So I'm just going to go in and paint it. Because <laughs> I can do that. Make it less noticeable. And then I'm going to put this little um, image on my pinky nail. I love this little image. It's just so cute. There we go. There wasn't a whole lot to clean up with this one. But I'm going to go in and do my little cleanup here real quick. There we go. Got my cleanup brush out. Some acetone. And it just kind of melts that, that polish. It just shoo, like it never was there. Love it. 
very nice easy clean up and now we're going to top this one with some posh top coat I'm still working on using the Pro FX for top cutting after stamping. There's going to be a little learning curve with that one for me. Um, so I just didn't, didn't want to mess anything up. And I'm just going back to my old standby. My posh. Being sure to cap my tip. And there we go. So this is my final manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.